I'll never forget the lynch, I'll never forget 2006, you know, and um, just, yeah, just, just getting to the end of the year and winning and having it all done and going away as world champions, um, you know, with Nicky and the crew because it was a, a really good bunch of guys. It was an extraordinary sort of day. And now the pressure's on Nicky, he's all plugged in there, getting fired up for the 30 lapper. That uh, weekend, uh, Nicky told us that uh, don't worry, uh, I will win the race because it's the only option I have. He believed in himself and uh, he tried to show to the people that uh, he can do it. He says uh, good things happen to a good people. That morning I was in the hotel room getting ready to come to the track and I had a feeling that I was going to do it. And I didn't know how, but we never gave up and we always believed. And I think everyone still believed it, you know, nobody gave up, put it that way. You know, we knew it had got a lot more difficult, but nobody gave up. The final showdown, ladies and gentlemen, is about to start. The tension was unbelievable that day, really, especially in the race. Once the race started, and then when Valentino, you know, crashed and got going, and the tension from then on was unreal. I don't ever remember anything being quite like that since. I felt very, very nervous because I, I remember I, in this time, it was maybe two years I no smoke. And this day I come back to smoke, <laughs> just this day, because it was impossible to stop after the crash. I know see too much the, the, the race. Rossi has lost the World Championship. Valentino Rossi has crashed out of the Valencia Grand Prix. Nicky Hayden should be crowned World Champion. Pete Benson said to me, oh, Colin's crashed. No, no, it's Rossi. And at the time I was doing the pit ball. So, あの、ニッキーをなんとかこうペースをちょっと落ち着かさないといけないんで、で、その時たまたまパディ小川選手来てたんで、ちょっとピットで行ってすぐサイン出して、どうしようかけたことを伝えてくれと。Last few laps with that pit board with the early father next to me and I was like, oh, there was the longest longest minutes of my life. The old race, I mean, it was it's crazy. It took 10 years of my life, I think. It's the American, Nicky Hayden. It a long time to, for him to come to Park for me because obviously he stopped on the track and there was, you know, famous pictures with the American flag. I think for him it was super emotional with the father there and uh, the flag. I remember one picture that is with the, the, the father in the middle of the road. And uh, it was very, very emotional for him. It's, it's I was... Uh... Happy that I was the one I was in the park for me waiting him, and it was uh, very, very emotional. I remember his dad, that he was also uh, in every race, and he was uh, living, you know, the, the, his son dream, like if it was uh, his dream. I remember when he called uh, uh, her sister just to to tell her that uh, he was the, the champion. I never forget his face after the race. You know, he cried with uh, his dad, uh, his family, and uh, that moment is, is the best. It's good to have a uh, new world champion like Nicky because uh, he's a good guy. Lawrence, thank you very much indeed. To do, what, to do what we did against Valentino was fantastic. For me, it was, uh, it was a very bad memories. Uh, but uh, for, for Nicky, I think that uh, was unforgettable and it was, it was a great moment of his uh, career. Dedicate your life to something and it, a dream come true, it just feels really good and I just want, you know, it's a proud day for me and my family.